Yay! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. This is Bo Sanchez here in Success Live, and I'm so super excited because we have here with us our dear friend and mentor, Edward Lee. Hi, good evening, everybody. You know, Edward is my financial mentor, so it's with great pride that uh, I'm able to share him with you, and he's so generous to come here on his own. You know, he does not need me, he does not need us, but <laughs> he just wants to share his wisdom and help some people here. He has this belief, Edward, you have this belief that, um, I, I remember you were telling me that, that everyone, every Filipino, can become rich. Deserves to be rich. Deserves to be rich. <coughs> yes, that's, a, that's our tagline, no? Uh, COL, that uh, we believe that all Filipinos deserve to be rich. So because of that tagline, yeah. you know, we, we have to do our best right? <laughs> just to educate as, much, as many Filipinos as possible. And you've been able to do it. You, right. you have thousands of people now who are investing in the stock market, building their wealth. Once upon a time, they were not there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it was a long process. Yeah. Almost... Uh, 17. 17, 18 years already. 18 years. Yes, of doing these things. All about educating uh, and uh, sharing with people the importance of financial literacy. You know, guys, if you, this is just, you know, we're starting off before I start asking questions to our dear mentor. On, uh, you know, you, you, you have questions, feel free to comment, feel, feel free to write those questions in the comment section. We'd love to answer them. Also, if you have friends right now and you, you, you're thinking of them, oh, I wish uh, uh, my friend will, will, will hear this interview, will hear this, uh, the stories from Edward, you know, if just go, tag, share. We're going to have fun today. We're going to learn lots and lots and lots from, from Edward. On, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about this. Like, I'm going to ask him a little bit about his background because a lot of people think that that, uh, you know, when you see Edward right now, they see, oh, he was born rich. You know, I, maybe I get that from Filipinos. Every time you see uh, somebody, somebody who's Filipino-Chinese, you'll say, oh, they're, they're all rich, you know. But Edward will tell you now, Edward, tell me a little bit of your background. So we'll, we'll correct <coughs> that uh, misconception. Well, I was, uh, uh, raised, uh, I was born and raised by, uh, by a salesman. My father was a salesman and my mom was a teacher. A teacher. A, a teacher, yes. A grade school teacher. Wow. So uh, I was just very lucky that I was, uh, I was always sharing the community that I was really loved unconditionally, uh, mainly because uh, I really don't enjoy school. And uh, <laughs> I, I, a lot of times I sleep in class. You know? <laughs> so, so those are very challenging. Your times. grades were not good? Uh, terrible grades. Terrible <laughs> grades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From high school, from grade school. Uh, my mom is the teacher there, so, yeah. so it's easy to get to get by. <laughs> but uh, in high school, it was more challenging. And, because uh, your mom was not there anymore. I was not there anymore, yes. But we were also, I was also very lucky because at that time, in the 1970s, a lot of this demonstration. So uh, we were given what we call the mass promotion. So we, we graduated. Basically. 1970. 1970, that, that was before martial law. That's right, that's right. And uh, there was a lot of uh, demonstrations. So there was this one year where all high school students would graduate that's automatically. Right. Automatic. As he was as, included. Yes, yes. Uh, as long as uh, you don't, uh, you're not uh, noisy in school. Since I was sleeping most of the time, so... I get to be, to, to be, you know, to graduate. I Edward, you're that. giving a lot of people hope uh, because the, you know, there are parents here who are, who are thinking of their children, you know, oh yes, my, my kid has bad grades so they can become successful right. like Edward Lee. So don't be too hard on your kids. That's right, that's right. Yes, no, yes. no, don't, don't. Yes. In fact, that, that's the story of Edward. His parents loved him unconditionally he loves telling me that you know when we have lunch together he'll always say that the reason why he's successful now is that's because right. of the unconditional love of his parents that's right. That's so so Edward just give me a little a little story you know when you go home with your report card that was a bit that was colorful <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
What, yes. what does your dad and mom say? Well, my dad would always tell me that, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a good kid. Uh, it's just that uh, probably uh, I, was, uh, I went to school at a very early age. <laughs> so he would use us as an excuse. Right? <laughs> and he would always tell me that, uh, you know, if, 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 if your classmate can uh, do well and takes one hour, you just have to work harder, right? It takes two, three hours just to be able to, and you will be able to, to, to make it also. So those were the things that uh, was, uh, uh, it's always being yes. motivated, yeah. love. Yeah. So that was, I think, I, that's why I was always sharing with you. So that. Edward, no screaming, no, nothing like that? Mm, none. Wow. Yes. That's and then amazing. even today, I was joking that uh, my mom even still believed that I graduated from school. <laughs> and I was not kicked out. So that, that's how... That's how love is, can, can do for you, right? We need to say this to the world. And if the mother of Edward is watching right now, I am, she will be shocked because, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Edward Lee did not finish college. That, that's the shocking thing. You know, look how successful he is. But there, he's, uh, he, and so to all the dropouts out there, there is still hope. You know, don't, don't, uh, Look down on yourself and punish yourself and condemn yourself to so poverty. You know. Uh, in fact, there was a. I was sharing with you uh, that I went to uh, my alumni. Yes. Uh, last week, and uh, I was when I was giving a talk, and there was this uh, student also. There was also. You're, you're talking of your high school. High school. High school. Okay. Yeah. So, so I I go there once, twice a year, and to share my. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a dedication day, and then I was uh, sharing about life. And uh, there was this kid that was also sleeping in class. That was uh, <laughs> sleeping. And uh, after my talk, I said, you know, I said, I, uh, I said uh, one day you will be also be very successful. <laughs> because like you, like me, I was also sleeping in class. So, oh, my God. So just to give Angkor it and, you know, tell him that there's yeah, hope. Right? Yeah, and there's hope, absolutely. Right? yeah. Absolutely. So it was fun. It was fun. Always yeah. fun to work with grade 11 and it was really good. Beautiful. Yeah. You know, Edward loves doing that. He wants to give back. He's already, he's already reached this uh, level of success in his life. But Edward, so from, you, you got kicked out. No, not kicked out. Did you get kicked out in college? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so he got kicked out in college. But he started working. And uh, he already, he al you know, he's, he's uh, now, of course, he is the, everybody knows uh, Edward Lee. If you're in the stock market, you know Edward Lee. He, he's the, the stock market guru. He started in the stock market when he was 18 years yeah, old. Sure. Unbelievable. Right. Yes. So, so at that time when you got kicked out... That was you, the reason why I got kicked out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was spending all my time in the stock market. So my class was uh, the, 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 the exchange. Amazing. Uh, that's the reason why I got wow. kicked out. Yes, wow. Right, yeah. and, but that was really your passion. That's right. That's right. I was yeah. exposed. I was exposed... To a, what they called an organization called the Junior Achievement of the Philippines, yes. J8, so our 48 year already. Uh, and then uh, I was exposed uh, to the stock market by one of our mentors. No? Oh. Uh, visited his office and he said, and I look at all this chart at the back of his office and he said, you know, well, I asked him what's all this and he said, uh, this, is the, this is our charts of a publicly listed company. And uh, he gave me a book to read and then I started. Uh, wow. Investing in it. Ah, that's beautiful. That's right. That's yeah. beautiful. And then you started also a, your company. How old were you when you started your own company? 1978. So I was, uh, I worked for four years first. Yes. So, and uh, then 1978. So I was about uh, 23 years old. 23 years old. My, my, my. Wall, my, wall. Uh, it's a wallpaper. It's a wall covering. I started as a wall co wallpaper company and then window covering. Were you the covering. one? Were you the one who would, who would uh, yes. put it on the wall? No, 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 no. But uh, uh, if, if, uh, if our wallpaper installer don't show up, yeah. I will be the one. Wow. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. It, was, it was a tiny company? Yes. Very small mm -hmm. company. We started with 50,000 pesos each. 50,000 pesos. Woo. Yeah. Amazing. Right. There three of us, so 150,000 and start the business. Yeah. You start, start small and uh, build it over through time. I want, I want you to, to be shocked by this fact. I was, I was when the first time I heard it, that to this day, the company is there. It's, uh, it's, right. still, it's still doing incredible, not just wallpapers, of course, now, but you, you've got office furniture. They outfit entire buildings, you know. Right. It is a, a humongous company 
but how many years now? So 39 years. This is our 39th year. Yes. Now that, my friend, is success. It's not, uh, it's not just uh, something that appears now and gone, you know, in a few years. It's no, this is real success when you're able to, you know, over time. And, but right. that, that, you always tell me that, Edward, that the secret to success is time. That's correct. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. So it works in business and also in the stock market. Of course. Of course. Especially in the stock market. Because uh, if, you are a, if you are young and you start investing, uh, within 10 years... You know, with just three to five thousand pesos, um, ten years from now, you you should be uh, with a ten percent uh, return on equity. Yes, you should really be a millionaire, right? Yes, if you think about it. Yes, yes, that's right. Amazing. Yes, and uh, so Edward is, was, you know, so just wanted to say that, right? Edward did not was not born rich. And uh, so he had to, at the very young age, you know, go through the difficulties and the hardships, 23 years old, you know, putting up his small business. But then in, over time, he just kept at it, kept at it. And uh, I want to bring this topic right here. This is very important. Edward always tells me the reason why he's successful is he had no choice. Edward, can you share a little bit more about that? Why, why, why do you say that? You, you had no choice when you, when you were kicked out. Well, it's, it's normal because uh, academically you're poor, um, you don't have a degree, yeah. uh, so you just have to you know, apply for a job that uh, yeah. somebody will hire you. <laughs> and uh, I was working for, I was hired as a key puncher, a verifier. Uh, I worked from afternoon shift, 3 to 10. Yeah. And uh, from there, you, you, you work hard. You, you, you were uh, earning... Uh, 8 pesos a day. 8 pesos a day. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Eight pesos a day. The company uh, is still alive. Right? <laughs> and uh, what we do is, uh, in fact, most of our uh, major servers, uh, we still buy from them. Uh, mm -hmm. he, they, they help us. Uh, the, the company that I used to work for in 1974 is now our major supplier for Whoa. all our computers. Yes, wow. That's right. yeah. Amazing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so you had no choice because your grades were poor and no company was... Was, hiring, yes. was hiring you, <laughs> yes. And then when you started your business, you said, "Well, I'll, I'll just keep on doing this." That's right. No, that's right. no choice. No choice. Yes, Life right. is difficult. Yes. The job is difficult. The business is difficult. No you choice. Accept it. Yeah, that's you right. accept that's it. Right. That's that, that's that's always the biggest challenge when, if you are bright and uh, you have many choices, too many options, too many options. Yes, and and uh, you have a job, and then if you're not happy. You transfer? You, you transfer to the second one, transfer to the third one. They yeah. don't understand that they have to stick it out and, you know, yeah. work so that they will build their character, their personality, in being able to work with uh, their, their superior yeah. and so that they can have a, they have, a, they have a future in that company. That's right. Yeah, so that's, that's what is always the biggest challenge yeah. No? Yeah. for most of these uh, very... I said uh, very well intelligent or yeah. academically and, very strong. And, and when they have a business, they, they easily give up because, because there's a job waiting That's for right. them. Right. A company can yes. just pick them up. So, right. so they don't persevere through That's those right. difficulties. So they, can, they don't see, they don't wait for that business to flourish. Yes. They give up too easily at the early stage. Because if they're in a hurry, that's, that's what will happen. Yes, that's right. If that's they right. want instant gratification, that's also the, the yeah. biggest challenge. So building businesses takes time. Also, yes, absolutely. Right? So from one customer to the next one, so that over time, you know, yeah. you take care of them, give them a good product, give them a give them the good service. That's right. Then, then, then it's a plus one, plus one. So over time, it's a, it, the, your business will compound. That's right. And Edward, we, we got to know each other about 10 years ago. That's right, yes. And I, I still remember that. You know, you invited me for lunch. You said you, you read my book. And uh, I knew nothing of the stock market at that time. That's right, that's right, yes. And uh, you opened my eyes to it. And then you said, I'll teach you. Yes, that's and, right. And yes. wow, the rest is history. Of course, after 10 years, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so COL Financial was about seven years, was seven years old then. Uh, COL was, yes, COL was started in 1999. Yes. And then we... Listed we, it. We listed it in 2006. Ah, okay. So, so it's one year. Yes. You after that, we, 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 we met. Yes. Uh, I remember I read your book. It's Eight Secrets of the Truly Rich. That's right. And I said, I want to work with you. Yeah. 
I, I, from the first time, I think what I did was I invited you to speak for my people. Right? Yes. I got 350 books from you. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it all started. And, yes. and you know, it, it, the Truly Rich Club was already existing before I met uh, Edward. <laughs> But it was not about the stock market yet. It was more about financial mindset, which is very important, you know. But then when he started teaching me, okay, here's how to do it. I started teaching Truly Rich Club members about to invest, how to invest in the stock market. And then we were just able to help thousands upon thousands of people. We have 20,000 members now uh, and, and growing. And we, we, just, we just want to keep on teaching people how to invest in the stock market. Of course, Edward and his team, not, not just Edward, but, but, but the team of analysts and all of that, they, they, they help Truly Rich Club. And we're, we're separate companies, okay? COL Financial and the Truly Rich Club, we're, we're, we're separate, totally separate, actually. Um, you, but you need both. You, the, the Truly Rich Club, we, we advise, we guide, we help. Uh, in the, twice a month, we, we give out a stocks update where we teach people, tell people what stocks to buy, what stocks to sell. We, we really guide people, hand-holding. That's, that's what we do. Uh, COL Financial, it gives you the platform where, or, or the, the actual ability to buy the stock and to sell the stock. Edward, we, I remember when, after you started teaching me and I started learning how, one of the first people I taught was my maid. That's right. Actually, my maids and my driver. <coughs> and they started investing in the stock market. And that, that was such a beautiful experience. Then I, I started teaching all the employees of our ministries. So now, almost 200 of them, from managers to messengers, you know, uh, editors and writers and photographers and janitors are now investing in the stock market. And, and that, that was exciting. Um, it was, it was uh, I was telling... Edward started teaching his driver also. Yes. So, <laughs> that, that was good. No, the, the beauty about this is that uh, when you approach me, because uh, our people didn't want to open an account for you, yeah. because uh, then the, we, what we did was uh, we dropped the minimum from <laughs> 25,000 to 5,000 pesos. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> to yes. open a COL financial account, then it was 25,000 pesos. And so, um, start, yes. and, uh, I'm, I was very, very happy when uh, Edward said, no, let's bring it really down to 5,000. You just need 5,000 pesos to open an account. And uh, that, that 5,000 is not paid to COL. No, it, it's, that 5,000 is what you use to buy stocks, okay? That's right. And uh, I, I love that decision. It was a decision from the, the owner. <laughs> and at that time, he was the first one who did it. That's right, that's right. No one was doing that. But he said, no, everybody, every Filipino deserves to be rich. That's correct, yes. So correct. my helper has 1.3 million pesos, probably more now. Uh, my first helper. My second helper, about last month, had 950,000 pesos oh, so already. That, so, so this month, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got to have two millionaire maids uh, right. at home. So that, that's amazing. And, and uh, so a lot of people... Are, are, are doing that. And, and Edward, maybe the question I, I want to ask you is uh, about, this, about the stock market. There, there are people here who are listening and watching and some of them, they, they don't know how to do it and uh, where do they start and uh, how, how can they, you know, this whole idea, I remember you, were, you, were, you, you loved talking about uh, going to, oh, to OFWs. And, That's correct. And uh, can you share a little bit about that? Uh, well, the biggest challenge is, is that um, before you go abroad, a lot of them uh, start borrowing money so that they can get the visa to be or get the visa get a, to get a job. Uh, yeah. So the sad part is that when they start doing well, the first thing they want to do is really to spend it. Yeah. Right? And some of them, That's sad. some of them will also borrow. Like I was in Taiwan, and uh, there were, I found out from the manpower services in Taiwan, that a lot of these uh, workers are borrowing 7% uh, a month. Wow. And just to be able to buy their gadgets or mm -hmm. to be able to... Terrible. Do and what they do is they, 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 they surrender their passport, their ATM card, so that by the end of the month, they'll, uh, the, they will be able to collect the, the debt. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> so we were encouraging them not, not to do that. Yes. 
Then yeah. when I went to Hong Kong, yeah, and I was talking to, to a o- lot of these OFWs, uh, OFWs also, they said here in Hong Kong we borrow ten percent a month. It's oh. even worse. That's why after that uh, round in, uh, yeah. in in the in the OFW, yeah. we decided to come back in in the Philippines and start educating the school kids. Wow! So we focus on the on the on the on the on the kids already. Yes. Because I, I really believe that we have to share this financial yes. importance of financial literacy at a very young age. Absolutely. So then they won't have the same problem <coughs> as maybe their parents. Yes. You know. Yeah. So that's what we're doing now. So it's uh, more work. Yeah. But uh, happy because the, the kids are responding and uh, it takes a while for them to be able to 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 what we call uh, having that mindset of uh, yes. what we, we always talk about the three basic law of money that yeah. you need to start saving then you need to start investing and reinvesting it no? yeah. so it's a it's a whole it's a it's a mindset that which they have to yeah learn at a very young age you know some people say you know <clears throat> I, I don't i have very little money but if you're able to put a little money even if it's a thousand two thousand three thousand depending on your on your income you know but do it every month yeah every month every month every month over time you will really be a millionaire that's right and uh, just, but it, it might take 10 years, it might take seven years, depends, might take, you know, depends on how much you put in, You'll, it's, but you have to be consistent. I think the key is really to have that mindset of uh, that uh, you need to pay yourself. Yes. Even though now I, when I talk to kids, I ask them if they have any allowance. Yeah. So you know, just take 10, 10 or 20% of their allowance. Yes. Just to have that habit yes. of, uh, of uh, saving and investing. Yes. No? Yes. Because once they have that habit, then, then they'll be all right. You know, over time, you know, the, the rest of the 80%, whenever they make, they can spend it or they can invest in other things. No? Yes. But the 10, 20% which they yes. put in into, the, into the investing it, over time, that will be for their financial freedom or yep. really the... The retirement, no? they, yes. they'll be able to use it. Yes. No? So th- those are the major things which they have to really understand. So I repeat, uh, Edward said, it's saving and then investing and then reinvesting. 10 to 20% of your income, put it in the stock market, buying very, very good companies. Edward, maybe a little, a little advice from you. Uh, there are 250 plus companies in the stock market. That's right. Yeah. Um, what kind of companies, you know, it's confusing, 250? You know? yeah. Well, uh, nowadays we have what we call the mutual fund, an yeah. index fund, which they yeah. can invest a small amount of money. That's right. So 1,000, 2,000 pesos, you can start investing in the Philippine, yeah. living in the Philippine growth story. So yeah. it's an index, index fund that are available. That's uh, right. So we distribute those funds. Um, so it's available if you have a COL account, that's right. a COL financial account, you open an account in COL, it's there. Uh, you can buy index funds already. Yes, that's right. Now, if they, if, they, if they want to know more about it, we have seminars that they can attend. Yes. And, uh, of course, the, the simplest is just buy the best companies in yep. the Philippines. Yeah. The companies that they, they go to, like say, for example, if they go to the mall, they can go to an <laughs> SM mall, they go to the Ali mall. So, just buy all these companies yeah. and then... Uh, like for example, if you invest, if you put your money in the bank, I mean, yeah. the best bank is uh, BDO, BPI, yes. uh, Metro Bank. Yep. Instead of just be depositing them, yep. uh, just be the owner. Right? That's right. Invest mm-hmm. in those companies, and over time you'll do well. So in other words, you have the best CEO working for you. Woo! That's the most important. No? That's Yes, that's right. I hope you got that. Uh, just a simple strategy. Instead of depositing right. your money in the bank, why not buy the bank? How? Well, the only way to do that, of course, is if you invest in the stock market That's and right. buy the bank, buy the stocks of those huge banks. Right. And then over time, if you do it every month, it's going to be powerful. That's right. That's Amazing. Right. Yes. And, and uh, the, the other thing I, I, I want to share with you, very, very important in, in the stock market, is just, is just disciplining yourself because the temptation of the stock market is gambling. Uh, there are, there, you might have an office mate who will tell you, oh, buy this XYZ stock, and you've never heard about it, you know, it's because it's a tiny stock, and it says it will double or triple. Um, Edward has a lot of experience with that. Uh, of course, uh, Edward is a trader in, in, the, in the sense of uh, he's, he's taught a lot of trading, but it's very, it's very disciplined. Yes. Um, That's so different from gambling. Yes. Uh, 
The, Maybe we need to warn them, uh, Edward. That's right, yes. There might be uh, some uh, gamblers there, quote-unquote. <laughs> well, the problem with uh, the stock market is that it goes up and down. No? So sometimes it will excite people. Yes. And some, if, you're, if you're going to second or third uh, speculative issues, prices can go from you know, 5, 10, 20% in a day. So this excites really people. But like I always share this, is that if you want to be an active trader, yeah. you want to be short-term trader, yeah. more active, yeah. you have to know the rules of the game. Absolutely. Because if you don't know the rules of the game, you don't know the company you're buying and oh, selling, yeah. you, don't, you don't have those protect, uh, I mean, you don't understand what you're doing. Yes. Then you might win once, twice, third time. But on the fourth time, you just lose it all again. That's right. So it's always a first wheel. And uh, the reason why most people who are actively in the market, 85% uh, by the end of when the market goes down, 85% will lose money. You know? That's a huge number, 85%. It's not only in the Philippines, it's global. Whoa. It's a global statistics that those who are actively trading without knowing the rules yeah. will just lose money. You know? so the, because, Horrible. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it, it, that's why the stock market, for a lot of old people, will always ban their children to, to go into the stock market because it's speculative and they will lose Gambling. Money. They're yeah. all gambling, that's right. So we are teaching here investing. That's right. And investing, investing is very, very different. So the Truly Rich Club, we teach investing. Um, you know, just, just Truly Rich Club, just join. We'll teach you what, what stocks to buy and stick to that. And we're not perfect. We, we can make a wrong recommendation here and there. But, right. but if you just follow us over time, that's right. yes. um, you, you will win. <clears throat> That's right. Right. No one can be perfect, by the way. I mean, this is, we, live in a, we live in a planet that, you know, yes, we, we can't right. predict that's everything. Right. But, but over time, you'll yes. be able to do it. There's, there's other, one other thing I, I want to mention. If you want to be a trader, please, 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 you've got to study. And uh, the only school I will recommend is... Uh, Kalum Institute. You you can you can go you can go go to their Facebook page, uh, look at it, or or go to their website, and uh, it coincidentally it's uh, of course the, the the teachers are all trained by Edward, and of course the school is owned by Edmund Lee, and uh, he's uh, he's uh, of course. Uh, learn from from Edward. He, uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a great school, and they, they offer these courses. So I, I will recommend. Do not go into trading unless you study. Well, uh, there are a lot of other uh, schools, no? or even you go to YouTube. There are a lot of these things. The only thing is that you have to know how it's done properly. Uh, even our our uh, seminars, basically, we yeah. teach that. No? Yeah. Uh, you see all the seminars, you go to the training center, you, 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 we, we teach you all these yeah. things. The sad part is that uh, sometimes, you know, you, you just want to know, you just want to believe in what you see, right? And then we're not <laughs> trying to understand it carefully, you know? So, uh, so just have to be, you know, uh, be careful. You know? Yes. When yeah. you're going to the stock market, it's really dangerous. You know? Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing. That's right. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We have some questions for, for Edward, and we, we're going to, from, from, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. Good evening, Mr. Lee. Do you think time back in the past is one of the factors of your success? As everyone knows, change is inevitable. Do you think someone at a very young age would be able to do and succeed if they did what you did at this time? Okay. The from Lysel. Yes. Lysel, yes. Um, nowadays, uh, Technology yeah. has changed, no? uh, and uh, you have access now to information. You just have to know which one to go to go, to, to read yes. and learn from them, yeah. uh, or you, they attend our seminars, seminars yeah. so that uh, we can guide them. Yes. Today, our experience from I've been in, in this for the last forty-four years. So <laughs> what we're doing now is really put it together and then guide people how to do it properly. Yeah. Unlike before, we don't have that luxury. That's right. We don't have access to information. Oh, yeah. So today we have access to information. So, so we, we, we can see that uh, the sophistication is, you know, if you're a long-term investor, you buy the Philippine growth story, it's not complicated. It's yeah. very simple. Yes. It's just that uh, when you start doing well, then you think that uh, you want to make more. Then it becomes a challenge. No? 
So, so those yeah. are edu- so that you need, you need to understand now. But all of these things today are available. Yeah. Right. You can, you can attend our seminar in COL, or you can join the Truly Rich Club. You have to be guided. And if you want to be elevate yourself to the next level, you want you have time. You want to be an active trader, or a, we call it an active investor. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Then, by all means, yeah. yeah. Join the schools. Yeah. And then uh, we can teach you how to do it. Yep. At a yep. shorter shorter time. That's right. Yeah. Edward, you kept on mentioning Philippine growth story. That's right, yes. You need to believe in that. Edward, a few sentences. Uh, what, what, what do you mean by Philippine growth story? Okay, the, the beauty about the Philippines is uh, we're, we're young population. Okay. Demographics, sweet spot, uh, average age of 24 years old. That means the capacity for these young kids yes. is, has more potential no? oh, to okay. be able to be more productive. Yeah. And uh, so that, that will... And then, of course, with, the, with what the government is doing today is that they're build, 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 and uh, they're focused. The government is now focused on spending money to, to really build the, yeah. the, the whole country. Yeah. So just by that alone, yeah. the next three to five years or yeah. ten years from today, you will see huge, uh, huge spending by the government just to be able to connect the whole Philippines. Wow. And just those infrastructure, the tax reform itself, yeah. if... They are able to, yeah. to pass it, and yeah. they are able to to start uh, implementing it. Yeah. You would see the Philippines growing uh, seven, seven and a half, to, uh, even up to eight percent GDP growth. Eight percent GDP. So growth. We, we really believe that if all these are passed, yeah. and uh, with the will of the government, that's just, just going to continue to 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 connect the whole Philippines, no? yeah. because of all this infrastructure spending. I really believe that we should hit 7 or 8% GDP growth. I, I read an article, um, Edward, about the Philippines in the next 20 to 30 years. That's right. Uh, we're, we're not talking of just you know, 5 years, 10 years. Right. This, this article was saying in the next 20 to 30 years, just by our demographics alone, That's right. That's we're, right. we, you know, the, it'll be very difficult to stop our economic growth. That's right. That's, right. <laughs> that, that's just a, another way of... It's like... Uh, you know, you, you say, let's push for our growth. The, the article says, actually, it will be difficult to stop the economic growth. That's correct. Wow. That's correct. Just yeah. crazy. Yes. Because of the young, because the demographics have shown in any other countries yeah. that uh, once you hit that sweet spot of yeah. demographics, you, you 24 you will years. Grow. Yes, that's Average right. age. Average 24 years. Yes, that's right. Amazing. Like in other countries, you're talking about 50, 60, 70 years yeah. old already. Yeah. A, what we call aging population. And then... A lot of them don't have uh, children. Yeah. Uh, most developed countries, because life is uh, totally different, right? Yeah. Uh, so they don't make enough babies really to sustain <laughs> the, the, the country itself. <laughs> the yeah. economists, some of the group, so a group of economists are now saying, predicting that with all these factors in the Philippines, we will be in 20 to 30 years the 16th economic power sure. yes. of the world. I mean, that, that blows my mind. So... The, the important thing, the question of Lysel is, you know, over time, because time is really the, the key. Yes. So what Edward was saying was uh, it's so much better even now because of the technology. And I'm going to add that it's so much better now because timing that the Philippines is about to take off. It's, it's already, you know, that for, for the next 20 to 30 years. So that's, right. that's crazy. All right. Angel has a question. Is it a smart decision to buy health insurance? or any kind of insurance that is offered today? Okay, uh, I'm not an insurance expert, but uh, yep. uh, let me just explain that uh, you always have to be very careful when you're buying uh, a product. Uh, so if you want to buy a life insurance or a health insurance, uh, you, have to, you have to buy the, you know, be careful and, and uh, know that what, what product you're buying. Uh, always remember, uh, don't mix uh, insurance and investment. Mm-hmm. So that you, you need to be very careful on that. No? So yeah, I know some of the insurance people will hate me, but uh, <laughs> but I think uh, if you are always remember that investment separate it. If you want to buy a life insurance, you can just buy a term insurance. Yeah. Right, and uh, pay a very minimal fee only. Yeah. In fact, I think if you go to Security Bank, you put two million. Mm-hmm. I think you open an account and put twenty-five thousand pesos, you can get a two million already life insurance. No, 
So those are being offered today. Yeah. So you know you don't have to spend. I mean, yeah. Today all these banks now have a bank assurance, which encourage people to to be insured on a term insurance. Don't they? And uh, yep. and you can do your own investment. Yep. Uh, buy a mutual fund, buy an index fund, or yeah. buy the the conglomerates. Yeah. Uh, Ayala, SM, yeah. JG, you know, Aboitis. Yeah. And just hold it for a long, long time. That's right. Yeah. Wonderful. And you do well. Wonderful. Yeah. Here's a question from Joel. I'm one of those who retired with zero, zero balance and I'm 60 years old. Is there a chance for me to start on the stock market? Wow. Wow. My heart goes out for you, Joel. Uh, 60 year old with no money? Yeah. Is that, is that, is that zero yep. balance? Yeah. Uh, can, well, can, let's, I, say, let's say he says, okay, I'm going to start earning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a way to earn. Well, the sad part about the stock market is that you have to find a job first, right? Yeah. So that you'll have money to invest. Yes. Um, I think that's what he needs to do. Yes. Right? Uh, if he feels that uh, he's 60 years old and he has uh, no money, I think he should probably start working, uh, volunteering yeah. right, first. Yeah. And then uh, start his network. And, yeah. uh, and uh, eventually get some allowance so he can start. No? Yes. Because he has to remember that the average age today is hitting about 80, 85. Right? Yes. So yes. he can't just retire with no money. Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, waiting for him to die, right? Yes. I mean, 25 years, yeah, Joel. 20, 20, 25 years. Yeah. That's right. yeah. So I think he has, to, he has to join organizations, right? Yeah. Volunteer yeah. and start uh, building that network. That's and right. then uh, maybe uh, being able to uh, get a sales job. Yes, sales or, job. Or uh, start uh, going to being able to work at home, right? Right. Have an internet or yeah. just to be able to, yeah. to, 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 I think there's a lot of jobs, online jobs. There are, yeah. there are. And uh, they can start something. And then so that you can, get the, you can get some money and then start investing. That's right. Yeah. So Joel, hope you heard that. Jericho, what certain percentage of your total net worth should be invested in such a risky investment like the stock market? <laughs> yes. The, the sad part about the stock market is uh, it's all volatility. You know? yeah. Because uh, maybe North Korea will bomb uh, some, somebody you know, <laughs> somewhere and then you'll see huge volatility. You know? Or there's that's a huge I, earthquake. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so what we do is, uh, in fact, in Truly Rich Club, we, we, we always, so whenever we give a talk, yes. the maximum you can put is just 20%. Yes. Because if you do more than 20%, it yeah. will affect your lives already. Because if the mar market can go down from 10, 20, 30, 50%. Yeah. And it has happened for the last 10 years, there are about probably two, twice that it, yes. you lose 40, 50%. No? Yeah. So can you imagine your life saving losing 40, 50% and you're not mentally prepared for it? Yeah. So that's why whenever we give a talk, it's maximum that you can yeah. put in a risky asset. It's just 20%. That's right. And the other 80%, you, you can invest in real estate, you yeah. can invest in uh, fixed income, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what they have to understand. Yes. No? So 20% is yeah. the maximum already. Yeah. Right? So now if you're younger, yeah. it's totally different. No? You, can, you, can, you, you can increase it. But yeah. I, even if you're young, you should also look for, you know, yeah. Uh, capping at 20%. And then the balance, you have probably invested in businesses, yeah. looking for new opportunities yeah. rather than anything. That's right. So I hope you, you heard that. And uh, very important, you know, when, when Edward says that the, the stock market drops, you know that it's going to go up anyway, right? And uh, so mentally, you can say to yourself, uh, oh, you know, I lost 20% today, but that, that's just on paper. And I'm just going to wait. But sometimes emotionally, <laughs> it's, it's, it's still painful, painful if, you're, if you're, I mean, not like me. I mean, I, I, I can control my emotions because it's like, I don't know, maybe because I'm so immersed in this, like, like every day I, I, I know it's going to go up in a year, two years. But, but maybe other people are not emotionally prepared. That's why uh, Edward is saying, you know, 20%, um, at least you can, you can handle that. Um, Ivan has an interesting question. It's a not, not, not a stock market question. Uh, do you play golf? Is it true that business is done in golf? How much was the biggest uh, deal you closed in a golf game? <laughs> Ivan Suarez. Uh, I do play golf. Yes. And uh, yes. Once a week? Uh, twice a week. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and yes, 
there are also a lot of opportunities for you to close deals in a golf game because yeah. uh, you have two, three hours together. Yeah. Right? So there are a lot of opportunities. Yes, I believe yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> Uh, last question from Pao. What would you say was the single most influential factor in your success? Wow. I think that's a, <laughs> that's a tough question. That's right. Yeah. Usually there are a lot of factors, you know, why, sure. why? But uh, if there's one, what would it be? I believe that, uh, that if you manage your risk in anything you do i think that's the most critical wow yes. wow managing risk is managing uh, risk that's right so what, what whatever do you, you do whatever you do let's say investing yeah that's why we say you should only put only 20 percent. Oh, okay okay so so even in business you really yes. have to, to make sure that you know uh, managing risk is like maybe minimize your expenses just yes. to be able to to, 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 to build the right. business. That's right. So, so I think my savior, the only reason why I survived was really because you can do well. Yeah. But if you don't, if you're not aware of what you're doing, sometimes you will, you, you can lose a lot of money, right? Yes. Even in businesses, even in investing. So I think that the, the most important is, uh, that's why even in, our, in what we do is uh, risk first, profit second. No? Wow. So, so I think, I think, I mean, there, there are a lot of things, but uh, yeah. I think uh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. For example, when you start a business, uh, don't open three stores right that's away right. That's because there are some people who are so fired up, you know, oh, I can do this. I can handle this. No, no. I start with one <laughs> and then, you know, learn all the mistakes <laughs> through the mistakes. And then after that, you can open two and then later on three. So it's better really to that's correct. protect yourself that's you right. know, from... That's right. Manage your risk. Yes. I that love was, that. Uh, that, was, uh, that was shared to me by uh, one of my, fr uh, my, my investors, yes. uh, the father of my investor, when we were uh, getting some, he was getting some money from the dad. I was in Hong Kong, I remember. And the dad shared with us no, yeah. on that, no, that uh, you don't open two or three stores first. Start with a small one <laughs> and then build it through time. Yes. Now, once you, you understand, you practice it. Yes. It's the same, similar in the stock market. You yeah. don't want to, you, you don't, if you don't know anything about it, yes. start small and then build it up, learn. And, and it's all available now. No? That's why, you know, some, some people ask me, brother boy, I want to start, you know, investing in the stock market. I've got uh, 500,000 here. Um, what stock will I buy? You know, do, do I pour everything? And Edward will always tell me, no, 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 no. What, what you do, you know, tell that guy, you know, just divide, divide this 500,000 to 10, you know. And then every month, just put 50,000. That's correct. You know, just correct. every month, put another 50. So, because you're learning and it, it's That's better right. if you right. just, you know, slowly do it. What people don't know, realize, is that uh, if you don't experience it yourself, yes. And you depend on somebody to 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 to, to give you a, yes. an advice. Yeah. Then there's a problem, no? Because uh -huh. it's not sustainable. Oh. Right. So yeah. you really have to go through the process of learning it also. Yeah. Understanding what what uh, why why they're giving you this kind of advice, and then from there learn it, and then then it will be sustainable. That's then you right. can build your business there, either in business or even in uh, in uh, in the investment side. Wow. Yeah. So two time. Minimize your risks, manage your risks, then you'll do well. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. You know, Edward and I are, have a seminar this Saturday in PICC for the stock market from 8 o'clock in the morning until 12 noon. I'm not sure, though, if there are still some seats available because the last thing I heard was that we're almost full. But just in case you want to still join, go to www.trulyrichclub.com slash uh, stock market seminar. That's, that's where you go. I'm, but again, I'm, I'm not going to promise if, if you can all fit in. But <laughs> um, yep, uh, there, uh, my, uh, Ian says that we just have, I think, uh, 20 plus seats so av available left. But anyway, you can, you can join if you want, if you're somewhere here in Metro Manila. But let's say you're in the province or you're abroad and you, you, you really want to start learning how to do this, my recommendation is that you join the club. 
trulyrichclub.com. That's where you go, www.trulyrichclub.com. Online, we will teach you, we will coach you, you will receive everything through email, and then there will be some videos, and you know, just go, go through it over time as the months go by, then we're gonna teach you, even if you're, if you're living in a province or living in another country, there is, there is a way of opening a COL financial uh, account. It will be a little bit tedious, but hey, if you wanna grow rich, <laughs> you go through the, the, the tedious paperwork. Some people want everything easy, Edward. Like, if you want to make money, you have to go through uh, the documentation. And well, all I that. always uh, say that, right? Uh, everybody wants to be rich, but they don't want to put time and then <laughs> to do these things. So. so it's a process. So, so there, we, we, we want you to, to really, you know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this show with how we began. That Edward says, love saying it, every Filipino deserves to be rich. And uh, we mean that with all our hearts. And, and that's why we were doing these shows. And, you know, Edward, he's the owner of COL Financial. It's the, he's the owner of many, many, you know, other businesses. And uh, he's starting a new business uh, very soon. Um, huge one. So he doesn't need to come here. Like, why is he spending time here uh, with you? He, I'm not paying him. Uh, he's... He, but he does it for something, for some other reason. It's fulfilling for him to help people. It's uh, the joy of, of giving without expect, expecting anything in return. Uh, this is the deeper meaning of life. And that's why I love working with Edward. It's just, uh, just that's why he's my mentor. You know, he's not only my financial mentor, he's my life mentor. It's just, it's just seeing somebody being so generous and so selfless. His employees love him, by the way. Uh, known uh, just all these 40 years. Uh, incredible, uh, it's incredible to work under such a generous man, a loving, selfless man. So thank you, Edward. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> all right. We're going to pray. We're going to ask God for a blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, it's so good that we're here together and we pray for your Holy Spirit. Continue to guide and lead us. For everyone watching this show, we ask you for your Holy Spirit. May you guide and lead them every step of the way to become better in, in their financial life as well as in the other areas of their life. Do prosper them, Father, so that they can prosper others in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. For all Truly Rich Club members, we're going to have Success Code. That's another show, but it's only for Truly Rich Club members with Edward Lee at 8 in the morning tomorrow to be, to be there, available online for the next four days. And we're going to be talking with Edward specifically on some strategies still in the stock market and uh, you would want to watch that. So this is exclusive for Truly Rich Club members. It's just a short show. Don't, don't you know, we, I love short shows. Uh, not as long as this one. Um, but we will go to the nitty gritty um, nuts and bolts of the stock market. Specifically, you know, the, the whole question of emotional, what do you call that, Edward? The emotional uh, cycle of investing. We're going to talk about the emotional cycle of investing in our show, Success Code. And um, watch that. It will be uh, available at 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys. If you're not yet a member of the, of the Truly Rich Club, please do sign up so that you can watch that show. God bless you. See ya next you. week. Thank you.